Welcome to my tasty art expedition everyone, I'm Artifacts. Today I'm drawing ultimate drip letters with colored pencils. After watching paint pouring videos online, I got inspired to draw letters with the same effect, so let's see how it turns out. This is my first attempt at it, but I have a plan of attack, and I'll share tips with you along the way. Alright, I'm lightly sketching round letter shapes first, which will emphasize the pouring effect because of how the paint smoothly rolls off the edges. After darkening a few lines, I'll draw in the drips. These will fall at the lowest points of the letter shapes, and they can go anywhere really, so I'll randomly add a bunch throughout. Erase some lines here. You know what, let's make this drip more to balance out this side. Even though this is a colored pencil drawing, I'm starting with a light marker base color because of the paper's tooth. The tooth is the paper's texture, and when you draw with pencils, you can't always get into all the little grooves unless you color with a ton of layers. This marker fills in those grooves. Now I can just lightly color with this yellow pencil and no white shows through. Okay, before I go any further, I'm gonna draw some guides for the alternating paint colors. I don't have a set plan as I draw them. I'm just loosely following the round shapes of the letters and thinking about how the paint might swirl in different directions. All right, more coloring here. I like how paints can combine and turn into a gradient, so that's how I'm coloring these main parts. I'm picking a completely different color now, like this turquoise, for the paint next to it. I'll also make it a little darker on one side. Now a blue next to that. And I'll be sure to shade the undersides of this letter shape darker, where the shadows will be. Again, there's no set plan for which color show or where. Okay, since paint is glossy, I want to add light shines to the tops of the shapes with this white pencil, following the curves. After that, I'm coloring a little darker just under the shine to make it stand out more. The drips can have a mix of all these paint colors, so I'll start with some darker ones at the top, then continue adding other colors and layers. To add more realism, I'm using darker browns for the shadow under this H's crossbar. I use brown instead of black because it's a more natural shade for the orange. And now I'll finish coloring everything following this same process. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know this white gel pen is one of my favorite finishing tools. I'm using this to brighten up the shines and add some white paint to the mix. Finally, a little more shading and I'll call this done. Enjoy the reveal! Well, thanks for sharing this art journey with me. If you got something out of this video, be sure to give it a like or a comment. And don't forget to subscribe for more art demos and tutorial videos. See you next time.